excuse me if I seem a bit flustered, it's because I am. How are we? I hope we are doing well. Welcome to another gaming vlog. We are sticking to them. We're doing it, we're sticking to them. Little update for you guys. First off, happy May. Today is May 2nd of filming this. I hope if you're from uh, the UK, I believe it's the whole of the UK, not just England. Happy May bank holiday. I hope you've had a lovely bank holiday. It was my first bank holiday ever to not work. We love the life of a student, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, excuse kind of the mess you can kind of see behind me. We're working on it. But I thought I'd kick this gaming vlog off with a mini game haul. I know I have recently uploaded a game haul. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you do. But today I picked up some new bits from, you guessed, you guessed it, CEX. Where else, where else would I get my games from, let's be honest. So I'm going to plop you down and then we're just, I'm going to show you the little bits that I picked up today. Okie dokie, so CEX, we went there again. My money that I earn should just be given to me in CEX vouchers slash tokens so I can just go straight to CEX and give them all my money. Let's show you what I got. <laughs> First thing says we got the receipt. Love that for us. <laughs> because I've just pulled these out of the bag, they still have their stickers on. Uh, so nothing changes from <laughs> our game hall. We still have stickers on new games. So first things first, let's start with, okay. I picked up three games from CEX, each for a different console, but they're all from the same like family. Let's be honest, we all know where this is going. They're all Nintendo games. <laughs> Are we surprised? No. So the first game that caught my eye and that I decided to pick up was, is Professor Layton and the Curious Village. As you can see, I got it for a whopping four pounds this is why i love cex so much <laughs> um so i think i've said for a while now i don't know if i've actually said it in a video um but i've wanted to play a professor Layton game for quite some time i have never played a professor Layton game before i think i remember kind of commenting on a like nintendo ds game collection video that i was looking for professor Layton um game recommendations i put it on my instagram story as well so i've been kind of looking for a professor Layton game to get into for quite some time and this one kind of just caught my eye there was another one there and i can't quite remember the name of it if i do i'll, I'll pop it up but i believe this one may have come before the other one that I was looking at, but I'm not too sure. I don't know. Not much really to this, apart from the fact that I just really wanted to play a Professor Layton game. This one caught my eye for four pounds. So I felt like I couldn't really say no to it. So I feel like this is gonna be a good one to kind of nestle down with, like after kind of a semi-stressful day, just to get into bed, light a nice candle, make myself a nice cup of green tea get all snug and kind of solve some nice puzzles. I haven't played a puzzle game in quite some time. Like, I know there are puzzle elements in Immortals Phoenix Rising and Breath of the Wild. If you've played them, then you kind of know the bits that I'm talking about. But I don't think this is the same kind of puzzle from what I'm seeing. But no, I'm really looking forward to trying this out and playing my first Professor Layton game. And then the second game, sticking to the DS, family but upgrading a little bit we're moving to the 3ds and i picked up yokai watch i have seen this game kind of in every single 3ds collection video and when i saw it for five pounds again it was one of those things where i was like how can i not and i do want to say the condition of both of these um cases are really really good obviously sometimes secondhand cases can be a bit love and beaten up but no these are in really good condition i'm gonna be honest i don't really know much about yokai watch all i know if i remember correctly is very pokemon-ish and we all know how much i love pokemon on this channel okay we all know at this point there was like yokai watch 2 
um, in CEX as well, but I kind of thought, let's get the first one first, see how I feel, and if I enjoy it, we can go get more. But yeah, from the looks of it, I am getting Pokemon vibes, if I remember correctly. It's very Pokemon style, like you collect, I'm assuming they're called yokai. There must be a yokai around here somewhere. Use your yokai watch to solve mysteries and find yokai troublemakers around town. Befriend many different yokai, all with their own unique personalities. Oh, that sounds really cute. I love that. I, this, this was very much an impulse. The other two, not so, oh, well, actually, this, all three of them are very much impulses, but this was a massive impulse, but yeah, so that was the second one I picked up. And then the final game I picked up, I've wanted for ages, and I saw it in there, and I was like, again, impulse, we're doing it, we're getting it, it's for the Nintendo Switch, and it is the Harry Potter Lego Collection. I have played both of the Harry Potter Lego games on Xbox 360, they are some of my favourite games I've ever played, I love them so much. If you guys have watched my previous gaming vlog, then you'll know that I've recently been playing the new Star Wars Skywalker Saga Lego game. Loving it. I love Lego games. They have such character to them and they have such nostalgia for me as well. And especially Harry Potter Lego. I have wanted to pick this up for quite a while, but kind of just been putting it on the back burner. But I saw the last, this was the only copy in CEX. It's £28 for a, for a game. Um, what? My cat made me jump. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let's let's keep let's just pretend that didn't happen, shall we? What was I saying? <laughs> yeah, I've wanted to pick this up for quite some time, but just have kind of been putting it off. It was the only copy in there. Again, the condition of it is really, really good. It was £28. I couldn't really say no. Yeah, that's the other game that I picked up today. So these are the games that I have picked up up let me know what you think i am slowly building up my collection again which makes me so so happy i am such a physical collector i'm the same with books which i did pick up some books if you're interested in books and reading and reading vlogs i have started doing reading vlogs on my personal channel so i will link that down below if you're at all curious but anyway cheeky little side plug there um, but I am a big physical collector, always have been, always will. Um, I'm hope I'm still got a little dream in me to reinvest in my Nintendo Wii and start recollecting my Nintendo Wii games because I lost quite a few of them in the most recent years, which was quite upsetting. But any excuse to just purchase games really but yeah I've really wanted to kind of give my 3DS a bit more love and I wanted to reinvest in my DS so I'm really happy that I've picked these up if you guys have any game recommendations for any Nintendo console that I own DS 3DS Switch please let me know in the comments below um but yeah so I'm really happy with these okie dokie there is more that I want to share with you I have got another exciting package from red dragon that i want to share with you but i think i might save that do i want to save that i think we might save that um what have i been playing recently honestly it's really been mostly uh lego star wars i have been re in love with that game hence why i kind of picked up lego harry potter re in love with the lego game world gobbling it up <laughs> really yeah i had two weeks off for easter so i am now kind of trying to get back into student mode i've got exams coming up at the end of the month so if these vlogs seem a bit sporadic and sp sparse sporadic and sparse um it will be because i am prepping for exams um i am kind of rekindling my love with gaming um my comfort for it it's definitely coming back to me it's all coming back so coming back to me now so yeah what i think i'm going to do now is i kind of want to play some stardew valley because i haven't played any in a while i think that's something that i might do i am going to leave this part here not too sure what the next clip also is going to be, but I hope you enjoy it either way. And yeah, 
okay i will see you in a bit <laughs> struggling to say. I'm gonna keep going because I'm not having these stiffness to stay on. There's no way no how. So I'll try and get that off later. So that's the first one. Now it's time to move. way easier now what i'm essentially doing is i'm just rearranging my little shelving over here so you can see my games more so that's where my ds games are gonna go then i've got my switch and maybe i should swap so i should go ds 3ds switch hmm i think that's what i'm gonna do small collection but we are getting there we are slowly rebuilding our nintendo ds collection which used to be so big and magnificent and is now so small and we are building our 3ds collection these are my ds consoles just here and then underneath that we've got our switch collection and my switches <laughs> that don't fit in the shelves live down the side of my bed in their wonderful cases but yeah that's our little nintendo gaming collection so far minus my wii games that are buried somewhere deep in the house <laughs> but i'm actually thinking of playing some of my sims because i've been wanting to play that for a while and i just haven't had the chance so i think i'm going to do that while i wait for dinner oh my gosh this brings back so many memories oh and the music oh. i'm so excited i'm so excited <laughs> okay i'm gonna chill for a bit and play some of this and i will catch you guys in a bit <laughs> a little bit all over the place <laughs> i don't really know what i'm doing with it it's just a little bit of a mishmash <laughs> but first thing i wanted to say is i've got a new friend her name's summer look how cute she is 
oh my gosh, she is so soft and so snuggly and she was kindly, kindly gifted to me from the wonderful Mewai? Mewai. I'm gonna go Mewai. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for sending me her. I love her. I literally cuddle her every night when I'm reading or gaming or just watching TV. I just love her. So if you are interested in getting your own little Mewai friend, uh, I'll make sure to link their website down below. But yeah. So what I also wanted to do since I last saw you guys, I have picked up a couple of more games. Should I have picked up more games? No. Did I pick up more games? Yes. So I thought I would quickly share them with you because I haven't picked up enough to do like a whole game haul part two. Hey, it's Editing Victoria here. Um, me being me, I included the previous games in this little part of the haul, i.e. the Lego Harry Potter, um, and I think there might have been another one, there might not have been another one, I can't quite remember. But, point is, if it seems like I've completely jumped to a different part of the hall, that's because I have, because I've already shown you that I got Lego Harry Potter, and I forgot that I'd already shown you, so I'd included it in this little, this little mini haul, but, yeah. Anyway, enjoy the rest of this little, of this vlog. Yeah, okay, I'm going now, bye. And sticking with our Lego theme, I picked up for a fiver, lego lord of the rings i just could not i just could not i saw it for five pounds i have really fallen in love with the lord of the rings recently or like semi recently after me and my boyfriend binge watched all of the movies and all of the hobbits we didn't watch the extended versions but don't come at me like that's not saying i will never watch the extended versions but starting off with the normal versions and then going on to the extended but anyway for five pounds i just felt like i couldn't really pass it up again it was the only one there you can't go wrong with a good lego game and it's lord of the rings i mean come on now i feel like maybe when i know we're, we're literally just starting summer in england but maybe near autumn time when we start the, the weather starts to change a little bit and the leaves start to change colour I think this would be like a really cosy game to play in the evenings with like a nice cup of tea and like I can get into like the, the ambiance of the Lord of the Rings world and I'm also very curious as to how Lego will interpret Lord of the Rings because they're long movies, they're complex books like... <laughs> So I'm very intrigued. And then the last game, when I literally saw it in CEX, I was like, you're coming home with me. I am so happy that I found this game in CEX. You literally have no idea. This has been on my Nintendo 3DS wish list for ages. Ever since, I think a few months ago, I was watching one of Kat's videos and she mentioned this game and I was like, I need it. I think it's like one of her favourite 3DS games and I saw it and was just like I have to get it. I can't leave this shop without it and that is fantasy life. This game just sounds right up my alley. I still don't really know what it's about but I get the idea that you choose kind of like the a kind of character you want to play as in like you can choose to be like maybe a mage or an alchemist or a farmer or you know you choose what you want to be and then you create your character and it's just like a nice little cozy fantasy like life fantasy life game a fantasy simulation life game and it just sounds wonderful these are the games that i have recently picked up I'm happy that I'm still growing my physical game collection and I intend to keep growing it. I'm not going to lie, I did nearly walk away with another Nintendo Switch game today. Um, they had Hollow Knight in there. <sighs> I was so close to buying it, but I had to kind of be good. I had to withdraw and tell myself, no, I, there's still games in my Switch backlog that I haven't started yet. So I'm trying to be good trying to be sensible and not buy too many games at once um i have started luigi mansion 2 which i'm really enjoying makes me want to get the first one 
but yeah, apart from that, recently I've really been mostly playing Stardew Valley on my PC. If you haven't been watching my Let's Play series that I've been doing for it, then please check it out. I, uh, I'm having lots of fun doing it. I don't really know what else to say right now. That's all I really had planned. I do have a bit of an unboxing that I need to do with you guys. And I don't know if I'm going to do that tonight, though, because I kind of just want to unwind. I had work this morning. And then I had a yummy lunch when I got home. But now I feel like I just want to unwind. I don't really have much else to say. And I don't know what is going to be the next part in this vlog, in this gaming vlog. So it might be me playing something or editing or it might be the unboxing. It will probably be the unboxing. Let me know what you think of these games. If you've played any of them, let me know what you think. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop because I'm rambling. Okay, I'll see you. I'll see you in the next bit. <laughs> Hello my loves. Um, firstly, please ignore the unmade bed. Um, it is what it is. I'm not going to come up with some sort of excuse. You girls feeling lazy and sometimes we just don't want to make our beds and please ignore that's clean washing and then that's my laundry basket. So let's just pretend that's not there, okay? But I thought um, I would now finally get into this unboxing of my new keyboard i know i have just done <laughs> an unboxing of the um of my new my first mechanical keyboard if you haven't checked that out please go check it out i unbox a new headset and a new keyboard for my setup and it's a lot of fun i had so much fun filming it and I am just literally obsessed with my setup right now. I've never been happier with it. So please go check that out if you haven't done so already. But the wonderful, wonderful people over at Red Dragon have kindly sent me another mechanical keyboard to check out and share with you guys. They have sent me oh, the Royal Clutch keyboard. I believe this is in white and I believe it's got blue backlighting but yeah so this is the rk61 blue switch royal clutch let's crack this bad boy open and obviously we're going to give it a bit of a test drive as you can tell i'm feeling a little bit scatterbrained today but i really want to crack this open and see what it's like so please bear with me if i'm a little bit all over the place okay hi <laughs> hi there so this is my current keyboard. Again, I will link my unboxing of this down below if you want to go check that out or it'll be in the cards. Unbox this new one. So I'm hoping the angling's okay. I don't have a tripod or anything. So you're currently balanced on my candle that says relax on it. <laughs> I just realized, look, it matches my nails. Oh, it was meant to be. <laughs> Oh, it's wireless that I'm here for. The packaging of these are always really nice. So, got the user manual. Okay, so. Oh my God, that's so exciting. And then also in here, We've obviously got the charging cable and it comes with, okay, let's take it all out. Oh, look. So you've got some blue switches in there as well that it comes with, some spare switches. Love that. Pop that in there. We're going to pop this to the side quickly. Okie dokie. So... First things first, I kind of want to do a bit of a comparison between this one and my current one, which I'm using, which is this one. Okay, so this is my current keyboard from Red Dragon. This was also sent to me by Red Dragon, but it is Royal Clutch. This, the Royal Clutch white wireless keyboard is Blue Switch. And my red dragon one is red switch. So let's have a li little listen at the difference. Oh. 
and then lovely oh i love that i think obviously the next step is to plug this in charge it up and give it a whirl and see what it looks like which is really exciting oh it is blue black lighting okay so i read that under the space bar when it flashes three times it means it's charging and then when it flashes five times it means it's fully charged oh that's so cool it's on the bottom oh that's so cool so i need to plug this into my pc and then i can set up the bluetooth connection that's so cool okay what i might do though i might just let this charge up for a little bit before testing that out so while it's charging i'm going to quickly see if i can have a little play around with the backlighting okay so when you press it it's like ghostly follows that's pretty cool i like that oh is this what i think it is yeah this is my favourite one. I love it. Oh, and then it does it line by line. <gasps> That's so cool. Okay, honestly, my first impressions of this keyboard is that, um, one, it's like visually, visually stunning. Um, and I love all of the different backlighting options that you have. I think they're so cool. I think, personally, I think I prefer red switches to blue. I completely get the appeal behind the blue switch. Like the, the sound of it is delicious. But as someone who tends to um, use their PC more in the evenings, I think the red switch is better for me because it is quieter while also having that very aesthetically pleasing sound. If you have a blue and white PC setup, this keyboard would literally be perfect for you. Not only does it aesthetically match your setup, but also it's wireless. So once you've charged it up, you then have less cables getting in the way. And honestly, cable management is one of our biggest challenges. Let's let's just be honest with ourselves. It's one of our biggest challenges as PC gamers. So try and be as wireless as often as you can because it will make your life a lot easier. And this keyboard is wireless. Personally, I think I will stick more to my pink and white red switch red dragon keyboard even though it's not wireless um you know i prefer the sound of the red switches and also i have rgb lighting on my red dragon keyboard whereas with this one it is just blue black light blue black <laughs> blue backlighting so that's why i would recommend this if you have a blue themed setup um, but I do believe this is also available in RGB backlighting as well. So if you don't have a blue and white setup, then grab yourself the RGB version. Why not? Um, but yeah, thank you again, Red Dragon, for sending me this keyboard to try out. I love it. I will be using it and testing it out and having a little play around with it while I do some editing and a little bit of Stardew Valley. But yeah so that was kind of like a little first impressions review of the royal clutch six whatnot or was like yeah the royal clutch six one wireless blue switch keyboard it's 12 o'clock so i think i'm gonna have some lunch i have got some chemistry work that i need to do um coming to the end of my college course now very exciting but very scary <laughs> might go grab some food and I think I might need to head into college and get some of this work done but yeah that's that I will see you when I see you